Good morning, guys. It's been a while since I made a video. A few things coming at you this morning. I have been fairly operational the past few days of noticing <clears throat> there are so many opportunities we have to coach those around us. Our number one task as leaders is to make those around us better and to engage them around what they're doing. Leaders engage the team around results and around vision. Here's a few examples. One, we really need productive mid-shift people. We really need people to get good. So yesterday, Kim, or Mina was on window. We need her to be good at window. It does not take a two-hour training session. What it takes is a leader engaging her, showing her where there's areas for opportunity, and making her better. People want to be good at what they do. So for example, she's great, very personable in the window. Very personable. She was not repeating a lot of the orders. She was repeating about half the orders. No one ever said anything to her about that. Two, she was really quick. She was great with having food at the window and handing the food out while she was taking money. However, she was actually very slow at getting money out of the cash register. So I just pull her aside. Hey, Mina, here's what I say. Can I give you some feedback? That opens up the uh, expectation that feedback is coming. Everyone always says yes. I said, hey, you've gotten really good at window. You're very personable to the guests. Really appreciate that. You have the food ready for the guests, and you're doing that double exchange. That's awesome. Here's some opportunity where we need you to improve and where I think you can grow. Money, handling the money quicker, getting the money out faster. Two, repeating the order. So these next five orders, I would like to see you repeat every order and be a little quicker at money. Easy. Bam. Watch her. She does it. She improved tenfold in about one minute at her job. It took no training session. All it took was a leader engaging her, teaching her, showing her spots, like Cody's quote, showing her blind spots to where she may not know she can get better, challenging her, and then praising her for doing better. Second thing, Doug, he's a new employee in the back. I'm watching him yesterday. He's filleting chicken. Extremely slow, and he's not filleting it well. There's a leader sitting right there. My question is, are the leaders engaging the team around them on how to do their job better? People want to be good at their job. So I walk up to Doug, I watch him fillet. I say, hey, Doug, can I give you some feedback? He says, yes. I say, hey, here's some things you're doing really well. One, you are rolling the fillet out. Um, however, all these top tendons aren't being broken all the way. So here's what an example looks like of breaking it all the way. Two, you are going a little slower than we need. Our standard is eight minutes max for a case, which would be about three seconds for a fillet. So here's the speed at which I'd like you to go. And I show him 10 fillets. And I say, okay, let me see you do it. So he starts doing it. Then I show him a few areas as he's doing it where he can get quicker. And I show him a few ways how to get quicker. That took about two or three minutes to do, but it made him better at his job, probably made him feel invested in, then I praised him afterwards for how good of a job he did. So now when he does fillets the next day, people he knows people are watching, he knows their expectation, and he knows he's good at his job. I've seen hundreds of opportunities like this this week so far. Um, so my encouragement to you guys is be aware of how those around you are performing. It does not take a two-hour training session. It takes a leader engaging the team around results, around what they're trying to do in order to make them better. Last example, I'm bagging yesterday, two days ago. <clears throat> I forget who was on fries. Domino was on fries for lunch. He's just taking the salt and just kind of doing one quick throw over this mound of fries. So I'm thinking, I'm observing him, hey, these fries probably aren't going to be salted very well. So I just say, hey, Domo, try this on the salt. Hold it up high, shake it over the fries so all the fries get a little salt on there. Easy. The fries were much better. It took about 20 seconds. He had no idea a leader was watching him. He probably doesn't even know the salt matters on the fries. Um, but that little 20-second deposit goes into his account, makes him better at what he does. Anyway, that was kind of long, but I'm very passionate, and we're going to talk Sunday more about this. Our biggest area for opportunity is engaging those around us. Every team member needs to be, you make fun of me, needs to be captured. Don't show up and say, hey, you're on window tonight. Show up, hey, you're on window tonight, and here's what I'd like to see from you. Or, hey, let's set some goals for window tonight. If you don't engage people, they're going to perform at a level six. 
If you engage them, they're going to perform at level 8, 9, or 10. Every position needs to be engaged. Do not assume people come in asking how I can do my best today. This is really important, especially with all the new people. Sorry, this is a long video. New people, lots of new front counter people. Hey, they're coming in. I'm capturing them. Hey, you're new. Let's talk about this. You're on register tonight for the first time by yourself. Do these three things and you'll be successful. Smile, repeat every order, and say my pleasure. Do that. You can't go wrong. I'd be reviewing menu with them. I'd be reviewing lots of things with them. Just take time to notice those around you and make them better. That was long. Anyway, very passionate about this. We can make our team better. It takes daily engaging of them. Thank you very much.